What's up guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to vinyl tint your reverse light. So the materials you're going to need, if you haven't seen my previous installation videos, is soapy water, just regular water, either a blow dryer or a heat gun, along with a squeegee or a hard card, along with a microfiber cloth. Alright, so you're going to go ahead and just take off the vinyl or the tint. And then you also want to make sure your surface is clean, so if it's not clean already, make sure you um, get that soapy water and spray it down and wipe it down with that microfiber cloth. But I already cleaned it. So go ahead and just make sure it's wet after it's already clean. And then wet down your tint. And there's no such thing as over spraying this. Um, the more soaked the product is, the better. And make sure you don't get any um, debris or anything on the tent, or else it's going to create bubbles. Alright, spray it one more time. Alright, so obviously the, the piece is slightly bigger than the actual light um, from, the, from your point of view. So most likely we're going to have to squeeze it in the creases. Yeah, it's a little windy, so it's um, drying up the tin quicker. So just make sure when you apply it, it's really wet. That way it's easier to slide. Pretty good. I'm just grabbing my card and slightly tapering it down. All right, so it looks pretty even in the line from the sides and the bottom and top. So let's go ahead and just spray this down with water now. And you want to get inside the tint so or underneath the tin, so you go ahead and spray that. Then you're gonna get your squeegee or your card in my case. And just try to take out bubbles. All right, so it's looking good, guys. Just any um, big visible bubbles, go ahead and take that off. All right, awesome. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get your blow dryer or your heat gun and slightly go over it. And make sure you cover the whole surface. Go ahead and apply some more heat. And when you apply that heat, you're actually going to see the air bubbles expand. Sweat it down a bit.
And you can slowly start sticking your card, not too much, just slightly. To the crease. Yeah, we can start adding heat to the edges and wrapping it up. All right, now let's go ahead and plant some more heat. And then as you go up, curve in. That way we make sure everything's nice and secure. Make sure you get the edges as well. You wanna you don't wanna leave no open space when it comes to the outside. Alright. Let's go ahead and wet that down again. Go over just one more quick time before you apply another layer of heat. Now with your finger, you can go ahead and get the corners as well. We're almost about done guys. Just trying to make sure it looks as perfect as possible. Alright, let's apply some more heat. And you don't have to always apply it here um, on the whole surface. Just if you see any spots that aren't completely stuck onto the lens yet, that's the main part you want to focus on. Go ahead and give him one more last round of water. And if you feel bumps guys in this corner right here, um, it's not because it's bubbles, it's because um, 
The reverse light ha actually has like the Ford imprinted with something else that says, I don't know what it says, but there's something imprinted on the tail light. So if you feel it um, rough, that's because there's actually lettering on the light. So don't worry about that. All right, guys. So we're pretty much about done. I'm just go. I'm just going around one more time, making sure everything's nice and secure. One last time with the heat gun. And we're all done, guys. Swipe that down. I'll show you guys how it looks a little closer. And that is how you tint your reverse light on your Mustang. Alright guys, please like, subscribe, and check out my other installation videos if you haven't already. Alright guys, take care.